Welcome back. This is Grillenheimer. Um, again, it's late at night. I uh, pitted two teams together for the first time in a while. Um, and I actually started off with my Slapjack Acid Storm and the Wheeljack that allows you to have a brainstorm at the start of the game. The way I, um, the way I made Slapjack is that I'm, I'm allowed to have a combat training in the beginning of my, uh, in my hand at the beginning of the game. But the wheel jack I was using would allow me to do the same thing with a brainstorm. Unfortunately, I did not gear the deck towards that wheel jack. So there was no brainstorm in here whatsoever. Um, and so with that Wheeljack, was it Acid Storm? Uh, I think so. Uh, and and Wheeljack and then Kremzeek, uh, they actually lost. Um, even with Kremzeek uh, in the game. Um, and when I was using Crimzeek over here, I have, um, the two motorcycles and rescue patrol. I hit Chromia for one, which flipped her, which gave them an advantage to get a white pip card in their hand, um, which actually hurt them, but yeah, they won. They won that game. Um, and I can't remember, was it that game or the second game? The second game, I actually pulled in Jetfire. That's where Jetfire came from. I took out Crimzeek, and I took out Wheeljack. And for a 10-star character, I brought in Jetfire. Just for the heck of it. I was never ever really... I never really used Acid Storm's healing ability, even though they did have uh, double improvised shields in their deck on both sides, really. Um, the opportunity didn't really present itself the way I was playing here. Uh, this deck is big. It's one card shy of a grant. It's like 49 cards. I just counted it. Um... And over here has been con my consistent deck of like 44, I think, or 45 for these guys over here. No battlefield cards. No battlefield cards. Uh, now, I did have a lot of new new stuff in here um, of my own cards, like one-on-one um, -on -one draw, Scraplets and some other stuff and the scraplets came came into play at least once um, And at some point the, Of course the way I play Someone has to flip every turn um, I've, I flip I, pl I play an action and upgrade when I can or a tap ability and attack uh, And so there was at one point where I needed to flip so I flipped Chromia into her bot mode, which, you know, her defense is not as, as good, and she could not get the perk from Bike Gang in bot mode. But yet, even in bot mode with this deck, she got a, a swing, of a damage of 14 to jet fire over here. Um, it would have been 16 had she been in alt mode, but it was 14. But jet fire had a force field on, and he only got hit by four, and the force field came off. Um, so <laughs> it was a really fun game, and these guys actually won the second game. Um the health of 37 probably really helped. Uh, overall, really, really fun. Some really neat things happened. 
this is a bit of a complicated deck over here. Um, there's it's probably too much going on in here. Uh, I've got, you know, scraplets. Um, mission briefings really came into play. Quick one one duel. Um, really backfired the, the first game. I tried using it. Now, I had the ECM array on Jetfire, uh, which even just having that on Jetfire prevented this team from at even attacking him um, because you don't get, it cancels your flipping. Um, so they went after another character. I uh, do have multi-tool in here. And when I actually got to play it, um, I actually, Jetfire was the last character, and I'm like, ooh, I can play an upgrade, and I realized, no, he's a ranged character, not a specialist. Shucks. But, this was a really unusual game, because it was specialist, 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 and specialist when it was Wheeljack, but then a ranged character with Jetfire. Um, so... And I never really got to use a whole lot of these cards because it was just so many cards in the deck. Um, there's even a leap into battle in here. Um, but it was really fun. It was really interesting. It may have been a, a little different. Gone a little better. Maybe a little, with some battle battlefield cards in here. I did not go that route. Um, I did have try crim, put Crim Zinc in the mix in the first game. And having Crimson and, and the nine star Wheeljack, it was a lot less health. Um, I just put him in the box back over here behind me. Forgot how much health that. And both Wheeljacks is, are nine stars. Um, but they, that's all I really have for tonight. But it was a really neat, really neat setup. A whole lot of specialists. Um, and a lot, a lot of neat things that you know that were that were going on, um, and I was you know finally got our got the printer working, uh, printed out Wheeljack tonight, and I have to reprint him again because I put it printed it out without the update on here. I put his traits in here and it didn't print the traits. Um, I guess I didn't hit the little, I didn't hit the save symbol before I printed. Could have sworn I did. Uh, but he's just basically specialist, and spe specialist on both sides in a car and alt mode. It's just that simple. Um, oh well, but maybe next time I'll try to get some, maybe tighten up the deck, put him and Wheeljack back together. Oh, it's raining outside. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know what I was hearing. Um, get some neat actions into play. Get some brainstorms back in here. Uh, be able to start off with five cards in my hand with a brainstorm and a um, co combat training for for Slapjack, and 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 see what happens. And I only had one combat training. Um, in this deck and it was the only one I could find because it's kind of a rare card but really neat stuff really neat stuff it's pretty fun um, I guess we'll see you next time have a blessed day stay safe watch out for yourselves and as always flip out and let's roll for it